Okay. Exciting. Oh. That was a big uh, disappointment. My motorcycle has a terrible, badly designed solution when it comes to how to put on the seat. Or not so much how to put it on. It's quite standard. You have a bracket in the front here. You slide it on and then you lock it into position at the rear part or it doesn't have any lock. It's actually bolted on. These two brackets here, these uh, rusty pieces, uh, have a bolt on each side and uh, you screw the seat uh, to the frame. The bad thing, it's very easy to scratch either the frame or the cover that's on the side here. And uh, yeah, let me show you on the bike the problem. This is our Kagiva 750 Elephant from 1992. And uh, let me just put on the seat. This part is pretty nice. You slide it in there, but then you need to match up these bolts with this washer. Make sure the washer gets on the outside, on both sides. And then you need tools. It's a hex bolt here. So you need to have a toolkit available to tie it down. But this wasn't too bad, was it? But uh, I don't have the side cover on here now, so let me show you how it is with the side cover on. It looks like this, easy to clip on. It would also be a screw here, but uh, I don't bother putting on this now. Then the same procedure. Here you can see the problem. I already scratched the frame here, it's newly painted. And uh, you can also see the cover is very damaged here because previous owners struggled on hitting hair in between. And you need to make sure that it fits on both sides. I don't have the cover on the other side now, so it's easy for me. And then you also need to align up hair, making sure you get on the right side of the washer. This is not a good solution, so I think I can do better. This is my Kefereser project, and if you're waiting for updates on this, I'm soon ready to continue this build. Coming soon. But a while ago, I made a custom lock for the seat on this bike. It's really easy to open. It's a wire here. I will, of course, have to make some kind of bracket and a tab so I can just release the seat by pulling this wire. And I can take it off. Eh? Easy, eh? I made this uh, custom uh, locking mechanism here out of steel. It was a bit fiddly to make. It is uh, some bolts and nuts here and spring and some welding. And at the rear of the seat I have this uh, tab, also a bit bulky. I think I want to do it a bit more lightweight this time. But it works in the same way. I slide on the seat at the front and then lock it into position. Very easy. And my solution this time has been to 3D print a lock. And uh, I bought a wire, it's a bicycle brake wire. And uh, yeah, the lock is uh, really easy. It uh, has a spring-loaded uh, tab here. And you just pull this lever to unlock the seat. And uh, really quickly to uh, Print it a couple of hours and uh, also a couple of hours of designing. Uh, perfectly made to fit the bike. Well, I have to admit, it was a couple of test prints before I uh, found the final solution. But I can use these uh, pieces now to show you how it uh, all works. This is uh, the main piece. This is uh, bolted to the frame and uh, yeah. The, Sliding piece goes inside here and uh, make sure of the locking. It has some uh, small holes here at the side and uh, this is the rear piece that goes uh, on top here. And uh, these holes there are for putting in some springs. 
And uh, when these springs are in place, it should be possible to align this. Yeah, like this. And now these springs make this go and I have a bolt here at each end. Yeah, really easy. But of course, the uh, latch bolt, if that is the right name for this, this goes uh, under the seat. So let me put that on. And uh, I've already measured and uh, pre-drilled the holes here. I'm uh, just using these uh, wooden bolts, screws now. I will probably make bigger holes there and have uh, proper bolts with a washer and a nut on the back side. I will take this seat apart later and change the cover. But before I continue, I want to get rid of these metal pieces here. Uh, they are really rusty. Let's see if I can uh, take them off. I'm not sure how this goes. There, it might be a nut here on the inside of the seat. And it might be rusted as well. Great! Excellent! They came off. Two of the bolts uh, snapped off the head, while two others were possible to unscrew. Nice! I'm rid of these uh, terrible, stupid uh, brackets. It's time to get back on the bike and try it on. I have already prepared two holes here in the, this bracket, this uh, crossover bracket here. And uh, of course this lock is specifically designed to fit uh, under this. If you are tempted to make a 3D printed lock, you need of course to design it so it fits to your bike. And then comes the handle. I decided to put it here at the rear part of my luggage tray. I have considered having an extra long wire and put it up uh, to the dashboard. And of course there won't be any securely lock here now with a key or something, so anyone can of course open this. Could consider later to replace this with some kind of key lock. Okay, it's time for the first test. Honestly, this is my first test. I have like tested the lock, I knew that worked, pre-drilled the holes and knew that everything should work, but I haven't actually tested it yet. So, crossing fingers. By the way, these bolts are extruding, protruding, what's the word? They are a bit tall. That might seem strange, but I have pre-drilled, I have drilled a couple of holes here. So, to keep the seat not moving sideways and to align it at the correct position, these two are supposed to hold the seat in position at the rear end. They might be a bit small. I might want to add some support here on the inner side, some rubber or something to make sure that it's not suddenly getting out of uh, position at the rear end. At the front, it's properly secured. Ready for the test? Okay, exciting. Oh, did it work? Oh boy, did it work on first attempt? It seems to work on the first attempt. Let's try to release it. Yep, yeah, I heard a click. There's no spring now lifting this up and it's no tension. Perhaps I could put uh, some rubber uh, at the rear end here to um, be sure that the seat is uh, um, have some support at the end here. Yeah. <laughs> it works, it works. It's a bit play here, so I can fine tune, adjust, I can easily do small modifications on the 3D prints, print a new, uh, like uh, this uh, latch uh, bolt, uh, one millimeter taller or uh, narrower or whatever. So very easy to do small adjustments if you're doing welding, CNC, machining, 
building this stuff and you do a mistake, it's quite a job to redo it with 3D printing and it's done. But I wonder, how strong is this piece? Maybe I should test one of the prototypes to see how much it could hold. I have put one of my locks now in uh, my vise and I have bought this uh, crane scale. As you can see, tested by Hunter, so it should be pretty good. And it was pretty expensive as well, so you better like this video because I need it to go viral to pay for this. And this uh, hatch is now attached to the scale here, so I can put it on here and pull and see how much this can hold before it snaps off. I could mention for you 3D printers out there, it's uh, printed, the body is printed in PLA. It's like the standard cheap material. You can buy much stronger material than that. The tab is printed in PTEG, PTEG. Uh, it's uh, a bit softer. It doesn't break as fast as the PLA. So it's somehow stronger, but it's also a bit softer. So it will bend before it breaks, I think. I'm hoping it can hold, or I'm guessing, it can hold 20 kilos. Is that too much? The tab here is 5 millimeters thick, 90, 80 or 90% infill, so it's quite solid. Enough talk, time to test it. Okay, so I'm starting. At least it's holding one kilo, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm not sure if I can pull 20 kilos, if I'm strong enough. Okay, let me pull harder. Twelve. Okay, now it's slipping. Perhaps I need to tilt it a bit downwards. Okay, 18. Yeah, it holds 20. I'm not sure if I can, uh, I'm much stronger than that. I have just two fingers in between here. Let me try to pull as hard as I can. Okay, 30. Let me try to pull quickly and hard, like a, like a snapping movement. Okay, it slipped. It's uh, still working fine here. Let me try it once more. Perhaps get a better grip. <sighs> that was a big uh, disappointment. I'm just not uh, strong enough. But uh, the test uh, turned out uh, really good. This one hasn't uh, bothered at all. My uh, pulling it uh, 40 kilos, I managed. Somehow the test is, uh, was a success, um, but uh, I feel I need to do some workout. Well, uh, if you're interested in uh, more the details on how it's made, I will put a link in the description where you will find uh, the files for the 3D print. I'm using Fusion 360 and I will attach the 3D printable file if you want to test it. Yeah, so I think I can recommend a solution like this. Easy way to get a latch lock for your motorcycle just the way you want it. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, yeah, that's all for today. Thank you very much for uh, tuning in and watching my video. Hope to see you again later. Hold it up.